I just picked this up and the seller was so sweet. Um, it's a local seller from a Facebook group that I'm a part of. So this here is a uh, stump of an anthurium waraquianum, uh, also known as a queen anthurium. So um, right now it's potted up into soil, I believe, um, with some moss up on the top. But this node actually, um, I mean, it's more than a node, it's more like a stump. It actually goes almost to the bottom of the container uh, based on the pictures that the seller took. So this is pretty significant. Um, it does have some roots. I'm, uh, I don't know, I may take it out and take a look at it um, when I get home, but here it is uh, when I'm first getting it. And it may not look like much, but I will insert some pictures of what um, this plant will grow into, hopefully someday. Um, it is one of my favorite plants. I actually have one um, that does have a couple of bigger leaves. Um, I believe this is a slightly different form. This is the um, dark form, I believe, and the other one I have is dark and narrow. So I think they will look a little bit different. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, obviously this doesn't have any leaves <laughs> to tell, but uh, hopefully uh, that's what it actually is. Um, either way, I am happy to have this. And I cannot believe this, but the seller gave me this as a freebie with my purchase. So this is a philodendron uh, campo. Uh, there is a much longer name, which I will also put on the screen, and I don't know how to say it. So I'll just call it a campo for now. Um, and I also actually have a couple of cuttings of this. Um, strangely enough, I just picked some up maybe last weekend. Um, so I'm excited to add this. Um, so you can see, I think these are relatively young leaves. Um, they look like they maybe haven't hardened off yet. Um, again, I'll take a closer look at both of these when I get home, but I was so excited. I just wanted to show you now. So I have my, um, two little plants here and I'm ready to take them home. Okay. So here are the two things that I picked up today. Um, so you can see this here is the queen anthurium chunk, um, which is still in soil. I think I'm going to take it out and take a look at the roots um, to try to decide what I want to do with it. Um, I just have it in this, um, it's kind of an extra large watering tray. I really like these for um, bottom watering or also for repotting. Um, they're really easy to clean. Uh, and then this is the uh, philodendron campo, um, which as I mentioned, I already have a note of this, um, but now I'm always happy to have more. So I just put it in this little container, um, which is actually a Christmas ornament. <laughs> so I thought it was really cute and it has a very small opening, which is nice for small cuttings like this to keep it kind of upright. And you can see it does already have a root. Um, so I think it should root up pretty quickly. Um, these leaves are definitely newer leaves. Um, they're quite soft still, and you can see they still have kind of an orangey, um, kind of a, I don't know, goldish tint to them, red maybe. Um, I think, yeah, this one is even newer, so it's super soft, so I'm trying not to mess with it too much. And then we also, back here, I think are going to have a new leaf. So I'm going to move this one to the side and um, probably set up a tripod so I can actually use both of my hands to take this lovely stump out of here. Let's see, I think there's just some moss on the top. Um, and the person who I got this from um, said that they haven't had it potted up for very long. So I'm, um, that's the reason that I'm taking it out now is because I actually prefer to um, root things like this in perlite and since it isn't really very established in soil already, I'm not too concerned about it. Um, if this had been really like well established in soil and already had roots, I would be pretty hesitant about taking it out like this. Um, but wow, I am just super curious to see what this thing looks like. Um, it is very large. Wow. Yeah. So here we have it. So this is my hand. It's quite big. So yeah, it looks like 
there are some roots down here, but I can't tell if they're old or new. Some of these are definitely old and probably should be cut off. Um, I'm trying not to block it. These guys are super dry and probably I should just cut those off. Um, so yeah, what I think I might do, there are quite a few sections here and this is actually why I really um, was interested in buying this because like I said, I actually already have um, a queen anthurium. I think it's slightly different than this one, but I really want to try to propagate this. Um, I was um, inspired by seeing some other um, very well-known YouTubers um, propagating things like this. And that always was kind of my dream, just to try it and see if I could do it as well. So far, I've had pretty good luck with um, having the queen that already is more established. Um, so hopefully, I will be able to um, make this happen. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what I should do here. I think I'm going to go rinse it off and um, then so I think my end goal is like I said to cut it into multiple pieces but I also don't want to shock it too much right away so I think I'm actually just going to get like um, kind of a flat maybe a Tupperware or something like a I don't know, a, a container that's kind of short and wide, fill it with perlite, have it um, kind of moist. And then I think I'm just gonna set it on it, just probably like this, because the most of the roots are down here. I'm just gonna set it down in it. And so that the perlite is kind of um, just maybe covering the bottom part of it, um, like the bottom half, I guess, not this way, but the long way. Um, and then maybe in a couple of weeks, I'll just, keep an eye on it and see um, because yeah I would like to propagate these individually but I also really don't want to lose any of it because I really love this plant um, so yeah I will be back after I clean this off and then um, I'll probably get the container ready too so we can just stick it right in Okay, so I have cleaned this off and trimmed off the old uh, roots that were just really hard and dry. And as you can see, it actually does have some um, good roots um, that look pretty green. Um, so I'm definitely gonna keep those. Um, so I think I'm actually gonna put it in this container. Um, so this is just a plastic um, square container and it has a lid. Um, which will be nice to add some extra humidity if I want to. Um, so as you can see, this is too long. So I think I'm actually going to cut this in half um, and just put two in two sections in here. Um, so I have some scissors, which I sanitized um, with this just alcohol wipe. Um, I also did sanitize this after I um, washed it out again. And I'm trying to figure out where I should cut it because there's this weird root that's like going, it's like attached to the, um, to the stem. So I don't know if I can, oh, actually, there we go. Okay, that's better. So now it's not so much in the way. Um, I think I'm gonna cut it right here, right above this root and below this root. So then each section will have a little bit of root. <laughs> um, to be honest, I'm not really sure where to cut this. Um, it looks like you could get quite a few. I mean, there's kind of nodes all over the place, but I have never really done something like this before, so I am not totally sure. Okay, so I think I'm gonna cut it right here. Oh, 
kind of nervous. Um, okay. Yeah. Yes. All right. This is the spot. Oh man, this is really hard. I should have ugh, used bigger scissors. Oh, oh my God. Ugh. Done. <laughs> wow, that was way harder than I was expecting. So as you can see, it's very healthy. Um, it's definitely green inside, which is nice. Um, so I think I'm going to oops, just leave these out um, for maybe half an hour before I put them in the container um, because I want to give this some time to callus over. I might leave it a little bit longer than that, actually. This is pretty big. Um, so yeah, I will film an update when I actually have it in here, um, but yeah. Now I have two pieces, so hopefully they will both survive. Here is the result of my propagation uh, experiment. Uh, so we have here a small Anthurium waraquianum uh, that grew from that stump that I had. Uh, I had it in perlite for a while, and I think I ended up switching it to moss and it basically produced a growth point, and uh, then this leaf, it's actually had a few leaves. This is the, uh, but they kind of died off. Um, and this is what I have left. It is starting to brown a little bit at the end, and that is actually my fault because I forgot to water it. That's the challenge with these very small containers is if you forget to water them, they really dry out quickly. And it actually does have a new growth point uh, that's coming in. I'm a little bit concerned about it. I think it might not make it because it looks yellow to me. So we'll see. Uh, but so far it's put out maybe three or four leaves. So it, it, it does seem to be doing pretty well. And it, it is rooted. I don't think you... Oh, actually, yeah, you can see it. Uh, so, oops, that's not really focused, uh, but it does have some roots, and I also have, take you, let's see, down here for a second, because I do have a, uh, more of it, so I actually, let me, let's see, everything is just all, uh, packed in here, okay, let me, uh, move this a little bit. Maybe, there we go, <laughs> can fit it down there, and move this one. So I do actually have the rest of the stump. Uh, so I ended up uh, cutting it in half, which I think you saw in the last video, and I um, gifted the other half. It, it actually had also started to rot a little bit, and so I, I the, the other section was about half this big. Um, and I decided that, you know, I have definitely more than enough with this amount. And I was a little bit concerned about my ability to keep it from uh, continuing to rot. So I gave it to somebody who is much more experienced um, than me. But this uh, this is actually the section that produced the uh, little plant that we just looked at. And the lighting is not... Oh, that's There we go. That's better. Um... This is what I have left, and it actually grew off of this, and I separated it a few weeks ago because uh, this, I don't know, I just wanted to separate it. And it, I mean, this stump has probably three or four more sections to it, so I think it should produce another growth point somewhere. Um, the reason that I actually separated that last one is because the, the stump itself didn't root. It just produced a root out of the new growth. So it was really easy to separate it. it I mean, it had its own root system. So um, yeah, I'm curious. I don't really see anything happening yet. This did take a while to actually form any growth point. Um, but yeah, this, this is just how I have it in here. So it is just uh, covered. It's in moss with some perlite, so I just keep it 
wet or not wet but moist I guess and I just have it here and of course because I don't have room for things I just stack things on top of each other so uh yeah that's the update on that I just wanted to basically do kind of an experiment. Um, I've had a lot of success actually growing from stumps and even unrooted nodes. Uh, so I would call this a success. I think that this, actually I'll come back up here. Um, <clears throat> I think that this, this little guy is doing well. Um, and yeah, hopefully this new leaf is okay. If not, I'm sure it'll put out another one. Um, this is my older queen, um, and this one I did not grow from a stump. It's actually had one leaf when I got it, uh, which is no longer with me. These two leaves came out in my care, and they are, I think, looking really good. Um, in fact, they don't really have any browning. This is a newer leaf, and this is the older one, but it also really has been doing very well. Um, and this is actually just in soil with some moss on top. Um, yeah, so I probably don't need, you know, multiple anthurium waraquanums, and hopefully I will have even more if that stump produces more growth, but I just can't say no to them. Um, I'm really excited to see this one grow. I am going to be curious to see how it compares with this one. Because I think they are actually slightly different varieties. Um, but uh, yeah, so we have the big one and the baby. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this will inspire you to maybe try propagating if you haven't. Uh, I'm certainly no expert. This was the first time I'd ever tried this. And I was pleasantly surprised that I actually was able to produce something. And it didn't just totally rot on me or you know, do nothing. So, uh, yeah, just a really fun experiment. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.